Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to cover some more updates with you coming from China and they are also be considered about the Model Q. Um, why the Model Q? Um, again, I just want to explain you why I do that here. Um, first of all, we do have the timeline here from the last factory from the first groundwork that began till the first production start. So we could actually see if this is really happening in March, um, we could see first production happening in June by next year. So if we consider the fact that the factory we currently have in Shanghai is actually still building buildings on it and the site is still under construction and expanding, um, we could see June 2023 for the first Model 3 or Model Y, depending on which car Tesla is going to choose from. And then they could further expand over another year and we would be in 2024. And that would be a timeline which we have discussed many times before. Until then, you could have enough batteries. Until then, you could have handled the um, chip shortages. Um, until then, you could actually go into a cheaper compact EV and sell it first in China. And furthermore, this model could be actually happening as well because full self-driving could be solved until then and Tesla could be able to do the robo-taxi fleet. This is the timeline and especially as Tesla has no space to build a compact EV in this current factory and if they expand further, they will definitely have the possibility to do so. Talking about expansion and production in this case, there is exciting news coming from Austin. So um, props goes out to all people in Texas um, doing great work over there. Um, the Model Y might be delivered very soon. It is just uh, depending on an EPA approval. The final approvals should be happening any day now in case um, Tesla submitted it by end of January. We also see based on Jeff Roberts and thanks to him in a second we do see more Model Y out there. There are some people indicating that this is actually also a Model Y long range um, produced. Um, the question that I still have to answer and maybe someone can help me with here is is the Model Y long range as well with the 4680 cells because we do know that they have already 1 million sales um, done but they won't be enough for the Model Y long range. I do think that Tesla will focus on the Model Y performance and they might use the same strategy like in Germany and use the 2170 cells from Panasonic in the long range variant. I'm not having a confirmation here yet, but this is my um, th thinking here to solve the um, capability of not having enough 4680 cells. Then the top safety pick for 2022, um, we have the Model Y and the Model 3 in there. So that is really nice to see. Top safety pick for this year um, coming from IIHS. So um, that is some good news. Um, no big surprise for everyone following Tesla though, as we do know they are pretty safe. Then we have um, Giga Berlin production ramping up. We have now a thousand cars being produced. Um, the nice thing about the VIN number is that Elon is written in there. Um, quite funny though. And the uh, 1000 cars are produced right now. The production is further ramping up. Um, they have approval for 2000 cars. Again, they are not being able to be sold. They will be recycled. They will use all the materials, the battery, etc. But they just use that currently uh, to perfectionize the production, to make it flawless, to train their employees. So you have all the staff knowing what they have to do. And so um, I do guess that Tesla might have been already applying for another approval to further expand the production um, once um, it, they still have to wait here for the final permit. Again, I do believe that based on the current um, situation in Europe with the Ukrainian war or Russia-Ukrainian war, um, I do believe that maybe the pressure will be higher 
to then finally give um, a permit to the site over here. So we have local production and we are less independent or more independent to be correct um, from the um, international um, supply chain. So again, I don't believe there will be uh, any big issues with exporting from China to Europe. But on the other hand, it is always good to have local production starting soon. Um, again, looking into the United States, um, I have found some more details about numbers here. They might be um, at some um, products a bit off. Um, I don't believe that we have um, 600 um, Rivian RT1 close to that. Um, but again, if we look into the Model 3 and the Model Y numbers here, we clearly see the big difference um, to the second place, um, which is Ford Mustang Mach-E with close to 30,000 and then the Chevy Bolt with 25K. Everything apart of that, the Audi e-tron, not a significant number here, to be honest with you, um, as well as VW not showing any big strength when it comes to their ID line up. Um, even the ID4 that is much better already and selling much better than the um, first one, the ID3. Um, I believe that VW has some more work to do, um, especially when it comes to producing and exporting cars in the EV market like the United States. Um, as I mentioned yesterday here, um, we do know that the competition in the full electric EV market is um, just taking a share of 30%. And here we see further expansion of the um, parking space. I do expect this will be finished very soon. Then you have actually um, in the future, um, this is what we have, I found on Twitter, um, there might be the option to decide between a yoke and a round wheel. So that would be actually pretty cool. Um, and maybe that is the option that people can soon choose from based on the production in Austin. So this might be a change happening here, um, which would be very exciting to be actually honest. Um, that would be actually some exciting news. And again, um, I believe uh, Tesla could be doing um, with that a nice, very nice update. Um, so like an upgrade version, if you pay for a yoke a bit more because you want to have one, that could be as well a version to upgrade and you get that into your Model Y or Model 3. Then talking about the export from China to Europe, we clearly see more ships, four ships now, one going to Suez Canal currently, three in the Indian Ocean and then we have one in Zeebrugge right now and one in uh, Southampton as well as two that are currently on their way, way out of the Mediterranean Sea uh, going towards the north side, uh, so towards Southampton and Zeebrugge. I'm glad to have you all here. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate your time and I wish you all a safe and good day. Take care. Thank you very much.